Hey guys, it's Sobstan. Today, welcome back to another FIFA 15 training method. And today, I'm bringing guys a method to do with January transfers. Before I go into the video, if this video can get to 150 likes, yes, that is quite a bit, 150 likes, then I will bring out a video talking about January upgrades and which players I think you guys should invest in. Because the video which I released about January upgrades, there are like over 100 comments on it. A load of people asking me who should I invest in. So I think it'd be great to make a video Video talk to you guys about the best informs to invest in who might get January upgrades. So I might do like three high budget players and three low budget players. So it kind of caters to everyone who you can invest. Because I know a lot of people are confused about it. So if you guys want to see that, let's get 150 likes for that video because I do think it will help you guys a lot. So 150 likes to see that. Also, if you guys have watched this and are not already subscribed, I do recommend you guys go and do so. I do daily fee 15 training tips and also series such as training few and training one just and also everything to do with trading in general. So I hope you guys have hit that subscription button right now and hopefully you will not regret it. So today's method is to do with January transfers. So let's pick a player who might get transferred. So for example, let's go for Lucas Podolski. He's pretty much going to be going to Inter Milan now. So what will happen is at the end of January or early February, I think they normally do at the end of January, EA release a batch of transfers of people who have been transferred to different clubs. And they get their new card, if that makes any sense. So Lucas Podolski will now get an Inter Milan card. And what happens to his old Arsenal card is it goes out of packs. Okay, so you guys probably know what I'm going to be saying. So with it going out of packs, it means that of course there's, there's going to be no new more Arsenal cards coming on the market, which basically means that people will be buying them and there won't be any more to like kind of replenish it, if that makes any sense. So it's not replaced, which basically means that you know there won't be enough to fill the demand of people who want to buy Podolski. So that basically will rise the price of Podolski. So if you buy him before the actual transfers come out, so you buy his Arsenal card or invest in his Arsenal card before the January transfers come out, which normally happens at the end of the transfer window, like after it, and you, for example, you wait, he, you know, his card goes out of packs, and his card starts to rise, and because you, you pick him up for really cheap at team of the year or whatever, you, you're going to sell him on for some great profit. Now, Lucas Podolski probably isn't the greatest example because you can see he has got a lot of lot of cards on the market. I was just using him as an example because he's like a guaranteed transfer to take place. I recommend investing in players who, um, for example, come from a good league. So, like for example, don't, don't like try and invest in someone who's from the Turkish league because not many people build Turkish clubs, if I'm honest. And make sure they don't actually go to a team in the same league. So, for example, Morgan Schneiderlin can move from Southampton to Arsenal. Don't invest in his Southampton card because his new card is in the same league. You want to invest in transfers of players that go to a new new league. So, for example, Podolce is going to a Serie A, so people might still want to build BPL squads with him. You know what I mean? So, you've got to make sure that, one, they're actually a good player because Podolce is a pretty solid player. Make sure they haven't got too many cards on the market. Make sure they come from a good league and they are going from a different league. And then you'll be perfect to make a lot of deals. Now, obviously, as we get closer and closer to the January upgrades, there'll be a load of transfers going on. So just look at Sky Sports, look at the players who have been transferred. And if you see a player, for example, Raheem Sterling moving to Real Madrid, which probably will never happen, but I'm just saying, you invest in his Liverpool card because you know that a load of people will still want to use that BPL card Raheem Sterling. And it's because, of course, he won't be in packs anymore. His price is going to rise. So buy him before the actual transfers come out. Wait for the price to go up and sell them for profit. It's that simple. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Please remember to get 150 likes for the video where I'll be talking about January upgrades and the best January upgrade potential players to invest in. So for example, Alexis Sanchez, who has an informed card, might go up in price, etc, etc. Subscribe to Harps HD for daily P15 training tips and I will see you guys in the next video. Yep, see you guys.